everybody today I'm gonna be showing you how to add DLC to your game now whether it be from the Steam store or the RPG maker website adding the DLC to your game is basically gonna be the same steps so I have the Steam store so this is exactly what I do when I add DLC to my game I go up here into the resource manager now we want to add DLC but first we got to think about what we want to add first so the first thing I'm gonna go for is characters now you have all of these characters here and you can delete all the default stuff from the game if you just want the DLC stuff in your game but I'm clicking on characters now I'm going to DLC now this is gonna take me to my RPG Maker MV and then I have a DLC folder I didn't create this folder it was created automatically when I got RPG Maker. Now under here, I have bought Pop Horror City, Character Pack, Character Pack 2, Pop Slasher Forest, and also Time Fantasy Animals 2 and Time Fantasy Animals. So I'm gonna go to Pop Horror City and I am trying to import characters here. So I am going to click on the characters folder. Now I have objects, vehicles, bases, but I also have all of these already here. So now I'm gonna select all these. I click the first one and then I hold shift and click the last one and that selects all of them in a line and I'm opening them. And now they're in here. So if we close this and we go, we could even go into system, actors, grab our character here, uh, male heroes, this guy. Perfect. And I don't have his faces yet. But either way, now when we hit play. We already have him. And of course it has the other characters with me. I didn't take them out yet. But we have him in there. So let's just go to settings and take them out. Change maximum to uh, actually system. And we just delete, 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 because Harold's our main character. Okay, now to import the other stuff, you just do the same thing, faces. Let's go to DLC, go to my pop or city, faces. And I am just going to grab all of these, import them in, close, settings, actors. And we're gonna grab his face male face set one right here okay now let's keep importing what do we want to do next let's look for the tile sets DLC pop horror city tile sets right here now I just select the first one shift select the last one and now they're all imported too so when you import new tile sets, you have to go in here, change maximum to 10. You have to go in here, make a new tile set, and you have to choose the images. So A1 is animation, so we need to find our A1 right here. See, now it's creating the tile set. A2 is ground. There's all the ground. A3. A4. Exterior and interior there, that's why there's two. A5. Interior and exterior. And then B, we have all of this other stuff, exterior. So now that creates a second page. So this is us creating the tile set, and we call this pop outside. Because that's what it is. It's the pop tile set, but it's the outside one. And you keep on adding all of those until you get to the bottom. And the other important thing that you need to understand is 
that when you change these, you can click on them. This right here, when you change, let me do for this one. So we don't want to be able to walk through this car. So we hit X, 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 X. So the X means you're not going to be able to pass through it. There's passage for direction, ladder, bush, counter, damage floor, and terrain tag. So for passage, you can't walk through it if it's X. If it's a star, I believe the star means that it's going to be above the character, so you could walk behind it and not have to walk all the way up here. So the car would overlap the player and you could just see the player's head walking by it. All right, now that's it for tile sets. Be sure to save that. And then when you make a new map, it will pop up down here when you save it. Okay, now let's go just for a few more. Resource manager, uh, the system, DLC. Pop Horror City. System. Window skins. Balloon icons. Battle start. Shadow, shadow. Font. And again, you can add all of this stuff into the system. And you can preview anything you look at. Preview. See? There's your exclamation icons. Okay, and then... Don't know what else that has in it. Of course, city. Uh, uh, were we on pictures? Yes, we were on pictures and it has pictures. Now it has fog overlays. And it has an example to show you how to use the fog overlay. So you just select, select, open. And now they're in the game. And now in this resource manager, you can go through and delete all the other default asset stuff. But if you go up here to deployment, you could also exclude any unused files. So any files that you did not use will not be in your deployed build even if there's a bunch of default ones in there still. All right, well, that's going to be it for today. Have fun using those new tile sets and all the DLC objects you can get. I hope this helped you. Thank you very much for watching. Trick Ghoul, out.